it's Beth here with Crankin' Out Crafts. I am here to show the Pekaki Lei made with rat tail. Um, this is out of book seven, um, and I will definitely show you that in a little bit, but we have the Pekaki Lei. So for supplies, what you will need is rat tail, scissors, crochet hook, um, an H is really good and um, some yarn. Um, there's four different various, actually five different various types of yarns. Um, you can really pick the, the style, the type that you want. Um, in this one you can see there's a mixture of colors. So today I'm just going to show with one single color. Um, in this book, uh, there is a double pakaki lay. You can turn it into that after I show the basics of making the pakaki lay. So to start, you're going to take your rat tail um, and you're going to make a slip stitch. I would leave, um, I don't know, about a four inch tail. That's a lot. You could leave a little more, a little less. Just a good tail. So you can tie it off at the end. So I'm going to make my slip stitch onto my rat tail get it securely on there. And to show how to make a pakaki, you're going to chain four. So after I get it through, stuck on my hook, sorry, you're gonna chain four. So there's, it's tightening on me, two, three, four. All right, so now you have four chains and you're going to single crochet into the third chain from the hook. So you have one, two, three. And we're gonna single crochet. Tighten it up a little bit after you make the one. And then you're gonna go into the fourth chain and you're gonna single crochet again. And after you single crochet, make sure you got everything tightened together. Then you're going to tighten it up. And when you tighten it, it'll begin that pakaki. And you'll just kind of fold it over. And it, there's your first. So over here, I have started one. Got a little longer. We're going to make some more pakakis. And then we are going to add some yarn. So we're going to do the one two, three, four. We're going to go into that third chain. One, two, three. Single crochet. Give it a little tightening. And then we're going to go into that fourth chain and do that single crochet. Tighten it up. Get it folded into there. So we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three from the hook, single crochet. Tighten it up a little bit, go into that fourth chain again, the next one, single crochet, and then tighten it up. And that's where it'll keep making those pakakis. We'll do one more, three, four, third chain, And fourth chain, that single crochet. All right, so now we are going to finish this off and start with the Nani yarn. I, I like Nani, so I picked it, little sparkle. But to let you know, um, something I had forgotten was your yardage. Um, I can say about 25 yards, maybe a little more, um, depending on how long you want to make it. Um, usually, I believe it's around 60 flowers or so, pikakis. Um, and then for your uh, eyelash yarn, um, mm, I'm going to say 9 to 12 yards or so, depending on how heavy you want to make your yarn, because you can make it as heavy as you want. So, to finish this off, I am going to cut the 
uh, I'm going to finish this. So when you finish making that last pakaki, you're going to leave a tail just as you did the other end. Leave about the four inches or so so that you can tie it off in the end. And you're actually, after that, you're going to pull it right through and that will knot it off. And now it is secure. So, um, with your nani yarn, um, there's a couple different ways. An easy way to do it is, is just to knot it on here, um, or you could slip stitch it on. So I'm just going to do the easy one, I think, and I'm going to knot it onto that first uh, pakaki that I have there. All right, so now what I'm going to be doing is single crocheting onto this. On the other side, you have um, a chain in between each of your pakakis. So we're going to be single crocheting in between that chain. So you have one chain here, another chain. So we're going to take the nani yarn and we are going to insert our hook into that chain, grab through the yarn, and then you are on there. I chain two, and then I'm going to go to the next, and you're going to go into there and single crochet onto that, and then chain two. Um, then go into the next chain, in between, take it on through, pull it through, chain two. And as you're going, you can kind of move it around, kind of get your lash spread out nicely. Um, I think it's good to do um, a little extra. You can do the two colors like there was. You could double strand it, but just doing this will start to give that nice um, part to the cocky. So, um, once again, you'll go in between where this chain is right here, pull it through, single crochet on there, chain two. And you are going to go all the way down to the very end. And when you get to the very end, what you're going to do, well, let's just say we made it all the way down. And all you're going to do is take the rat tail and knot it together and tie it on there. Put my hook down, just knot it on there. Get it nice and tight. And then afterwards, you will have it all close together and that is where you will finish off. Um, you can see the tails that are here on this side. Um, you can put a kukui nut, you can put it on the ends of the rat tail and then finish it off with a bow. All right, so I have shown how to do the pakaki lay. With the pakaki lay, you we have our book. It is in our lay book number seven, the double pakaki lay on page 18 and 19. You're going to make one start of your pakaki lay. Now what we're going to do to make it double is we're going to go down to the other side. So when you get to the very end of the lay of your pakakis, now you're going to start to make your pakakis down the other side. So in between here actually you have this loop and you're actually you're going to put it on there. Um, so we're going to turn the lay around and start to work toward the beginning. We're going to be on kind of that back side of that. So your pakakis are going to face down. We're going to go that in between spot. You can kind of see, almost kind of hard to see a little bit, but down there's those lines, that long one there. It's the back of the pakaki is what we're grabbing onto. So now we're just going to do the same thing. We're going to single crochet onto the pakaki. You're going to single crochet and chain four after you do that single crochet because now we're creating the pakaki. So the one, two, 
three, four. We're gonna go into the third one. We're gonna single crochet and then give it a little tighten. And then we're gonna go into that fourth one and single crochet. And if you can tell, you know, sometimes if you pull a little too tight, you know, just kind of stop for a second and loosen up for a moment and then um, go right back into it. So our next one, we're gonna single crochet into the back of that other pakaki. And you're going to single crochet onto it. We're gonna chain the four, one, two, three, and four. We're gonna go into that third chain. And then the fourth chain. And there's your next pakaki. Tighten that down. Don't forget to tighten down because you need to to create that. Um, go into your next one. Do the single crochet onto the back of the next pakaki. Single crochet, chain four, two, three, four. And then we're gonna go into the third one. Single crochet. And then we're gonna single crochet. Give that nice tighten. And if you look to see, kind of take my hook off. You'll start to see you have pakakis on both sides of the rat tail. So now you have a double. After you have created that, you're going to be taking that eyelash yarn and you're going to be going down each side. You have a pakaki on this side and a pakaki on this side. So you will actually, I pull it through in the center here of when you went over to the other side to make the other pakakis and just pretty much pull it through. You're going to make kind of a slip stitch just to get it on there. After you do that, you're going to chain two, one, two, and you are going to, just like we did with the uh, sing with the pakaki lay, you're gonna go in between where that chain is, right in between there. And you're gonna single crochet into there. Kinda gonna be a little bit behind. You'll see it goes behind. And we're gonna single crochet, chain two. We're gonna go in between. We're gonna go into our pakaki in between. We're gonna single crochet. Kind of make sure that pakaki's brought forward. And chain two. And you'll go all the way down to the very end because you have it on both sides. And then you're gonna go back up on the other side doing the same stitch, the single crochet and the chain two. And that would be your double pakaki in, if I, um, when I do finish it, I tie it together, um, slip stitch it together, and then I add a bow to it to finish it off.